Now nowhere will you ever find written that Jesus ever said, whether you study the writings of Akasha, the recordings in the etheric plane and the astral plane of all events that have ever taken place in a given place, whether in scriptures that will ever be found, he never said, I am the only son of God, I am the exclusive son of God, and all the rest of you are sinners. He never said it. The Council of Nicaea and other church councils, confusing the universal Son of God and the Son of Man, decided that the human flesh and blood Jesus was the only begotten Son of God. They decided the rest of us were sinners, that God only created one Son, and the only way we could be saved is simply to believe in him. And so they made this church doctrine. Jesus didn't teach it. They wrote it down and said, this is the doctrine. He is not only the Son of God and the only Son, but on top of that, he is equal to God, not subordinate to the Father. He is God of very gods in his flesh, exclusively the only one. For 2,000 years, this is denied to all the rest of us. What John said in the first chapter of his book, this is John the Beloved in his gospel. He said, the light shone in the darkness, the darkness comprehended it not. We don't understand the blinding light, but we understand that light when it is embodied in a person that we can relate to. And that was Jesus. And he writes, we beheld his glory as of the only begotten Son of God. So the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. But then John goes on to say, that was the true light that lighteth every man that cometh into the world. That is the igniting of our own inner holy Christ flame. What we see then in the law of the one, one universal Christ, yes, only one begotten Son of God, one. But out of this light, the individualization of that flame and presence for you and for me, if that body is broken into a million pieces, just like every drop of the ocean contains the whole ocean, that piece of that bread is still the fullness of that universal Christ and that universal Christ you call to as your beloved Holy Christ self. You may call that your higher self or your higher consciousness. One times one times one still equals one, only one begotten Son of God, but individualized for each one of us. And the apostle said, let that mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. It is lawful for us to seek to embody that universal mind who is the Son of God. So we are the Son of Man, Bob the Son of Man, Mary the Son of Man, Jim the Son of Man, each one of us. And in our inner being is the potential in that divine spark. And the goal and the path of this life is to realize that light in our being. Things equal to the same thing are equal to each other. When we converge at that point of light that is above us, we become that light. The preceding lecture was given by Elizabeth Clare Prophet, world-renowned author and spiritual teacher. The Summit Lighthouse is an international spiritual organization dedicated to universal enlightenment. Founded in 1958, the Summit Lighthouse has been a beacon of truth to thousands worldwide and a leader in New Thought spirituality. The preceding program has been brought to you by the Summit Lighthouse. For more information, call 1-800-245-5445 or visit our website at www.tsl.org. Outside the USA, call 406-848-9500 or write to the Summit Lighthouse, 63 Summit Way, Gardner, Montana, 59030, USA.